I think this is, uh, I forgot what this thing is called right here. It measures your yard. The gentleman came out with the thing the other day to measure off the yard with this thing. Hey, real quick, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Taylor's Pride Homestead. Hey, it's Sunday, y'all. It's a new day. Come out. I had to come out today and restring up my fruit garden. Um, came out the other day and found out that a deer had came and eaten all the leaves off my peach tree. Just thought I'd give y'all an update on the fruit salad tree. Um, so far, so good. So far, so good with the fruit salad tree. It's looking like it might be all right. We hope, but I know we're going to have some issues with it. So we're just praying that it makes it. Hey, Charles, real quick. Can you tell them what to do? Mm -hmm. What? Smash like button. Well, also, we need them to do what? Like, comment, comment and subscribe. Here is our homestead. I've got to get out here and do some work in the pond. I did drop the level of the pond down lower. So when they could, when they decide to pull the, uh, do the yard, we will have them pull the bank back Where's a little bit. Pool? Have them pull the bank back a little bit. Where's that pool? You got a pool? Yeah, Charles has a pool, but uh, we're going to wait. We, we, we started buying some things for have our pool put in but we're going to wait till the yard gets done before we um put everything but please come on and check out this is what i had to do i had to restring up if you could look and see the deer came one night this peach tree was not fenced in they came and ate a lot of the leaves off of the peach tree left a few on there but they've ate most of them off, so we gotta we had to protect them. You can see their footprints around the peach trees. So I had to come back out today, and what I did was I um, took some T post and I strung up that 30 pound fishing line, and I put a perimeter around the new trees to keep the deer away. These deer are persistent, but we've got 30 pound test line right here, as you can see. Escape. There's our fruit salad tree. It appears to be holding well so far. Hey, let's keep it in prayer, y'all. Let's get in close so we can see. I, I nope, you stay right there. Don't come in. Here's our fruit salad tree. Um, as you can see, we've got some dead leaves on it somewhere, some parts. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, it's got some dead leaves on it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're just hoping and praying that it survives. But we got some dead leaves. Um, still got some fruit on here. Some peaches on there. Still some peaches. Um, still got some peaches. All right. So what we did was we know we did lose this Tanashi right here. So I spoke with the company the other day. They're going to uh, give me another one. They're going to send me out another one. Um, we'll get out here and cut this week. But uh, brown turkey fig tree. I had to come in here and fence all this in. Remember, because the deer now, this is where the fence was before. Now we've moved the fence out here. Because... What? I see you guys. You see them? Okay, well, good, good. All right, so we put this out here. Our brown turkey trick fig tree is doing well. They didn't eat on that. All right, come down here. Deer print. This is our pomegranate tree. It's doing well. It's doing absolutely well. Beautiful, wonderful pomegranate tree. Um, and I'm kind of glad I did put these posts out because now it gives me some room that I can bring my lawnmower because it was kind of close. All right, our T-post up. Remember I told you the other day now, remember I said I didn't see any buds or any leaves on the on the, the, the pomegranate tree? Look, now we've got buds. We've got buds. We've got buds, y'all. Get out, buds. We've got buds on our pomegranate tree. So it is yeah, actually, buds. it's alive. I was a little concerned at first, didn't think it had made it, but it is actually grown. We do see buds now on our pomegranate tree. So I bought this, I bought it out. So now we're not so close to everything. Here is our other uh, plum tree. 
It's got some plums on it. It's got plums on it. So we're happy about that. Our banana tree is growing. Uh, here is our apple tree. Those deer, if they had, if they were able to get in here, they would have eaten all the leaves off of these apple trees. This is an apple tree here. I don't even know what this is, y'all. I really, I got to look back at my order just to see what I ordered. I totally forgot what I ordered. Charles, do you remember what this is? You don't know? No, Charles, he don't know either. <laughs> like he remembered. Here is another grape tree. Um, here are my grapes from last year. I planted those. We got to get out of here and um, stop putting some fertilizer this week. Here is another apple tree right here. I think I'm going to prune and take this whole section off. I think I'm going to take that whole section off right there because we only need one side to be growing. We don't need but just one side to be growing. So I think I'm going to take that off. This is an apple tree as well. If those deer had gotten out here today, oh man, they would have eaten all of these leaves off. All right, here's another. I got to string this stuff up, man. I got to get out here and put this on the pole. So this week we'll get out here and we'll um, string these up. I need to put in one, two, three, four poles this week. And what tree is this right here? This is a Santa Rosa plum tree. So here is a plum tree as well. That's a beautiful plum tree. It's growing. There's our other kefir pear tree right there. There is our Bartlett pear tree right there. All these are muscadines. Here is our Tanashi persimmon tree. Yep, they would have eaten this down too. So thank God that, you know, the fence did hold up. They didn't come in. Here is a methylly peach tree or plum tree. So I forgot the varieties. And so we've got pomegranate. we got uh, pomegranates. We've got grape trees everywhere. we got uh, muscadine, scuppernogs. So we got to get out here and prune these. I should have pruned that already. I'm going to prune it this week. I promise you I'm going to prune that this week. But uh, here's our fruit salad tree. It still has a few plums on it. It has a few, few plums on it. Um, I thought about taking some um, paste or something and putting around the bottom and creating like a perimeter, a barrier around the bottom just to try to uh, keep it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Look at all those plums on the fruit salad tree. We got peaches on here. We did have apricots, but as you know, apricots fell off. That's all right. That's all right. I believe by faith that it's going to be all right. I'm speaking to the tree. Jesus spoke to the fig tree. I'm speaking to the fruit tree. And I'm telling you, you shall live and not die. You shall live fruit salad tree and you shall not die. Listen, one of the greatest things in life that I've learned is to speak positive over situations. Learn to speak positive over your family. Learn to speak positive over your job. Learn to speak positive over your finances. Speak over your own health. Too many of us, we walk around with our heads down, broken, busted, and disgusted, and we allow the enemy to speak into us. But can I tell you, if there is no enemy on the inside, we definitely don't have to worry about the enemy on the outside. Guess what? Your faith, your faith is what keeps you moving. And I believe by faith that this tree is going to make it. I'm speaking to the tree right now. Tree, you're going to survive this. Yes, you were bruised. You were even broken. But you're going to survive. You're going to survive. Why? Because you were meant to survive. Yes, I'm speaking to a tree. You got to speak to that circumstance in your life right now and tell it you're going to make it. Listen, please, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I hope y'all know, I hope y'all don't mind, but every day, listen, I'm going to add some religious encouragement into my post because everybody needs to be encouraged. Everybody needs some form of encouragement. Listen, all it takes is one word to transform your life. All it takes is one encouraging word to help you move from one circumstance to the next. And we all need those words. Listen.
today on our homestead, we were just walking around letting you see um, what I've done thus far to the garden because remember the deer had gotten in here and um, it got in here and it ate most of the leaves off of this tree. So we had to stop that. Don't do that, Charles. We had to stop that because if you allow them to do that, then they will get in here and eat all of them. What did you say? Shoot no, we're not going to shoot the deer right now. We'll shoot the deer for deer season, but we don't really shoot too close in here. It's too close to the neighbor's house. But we will do some deer hunting. We're going to take you deer hunting this year. You're four years old. I want you to go sit in the stand with daddy. We'll put some earmuffs on. We're going to go hunting this year. Um, I'm one that, uh, Hopefully, won't be able to jump over this right here. We won't be able to, I may put a string right here. If you can see, I've got this is 30 pound fishing line. Remember, I did a video yesterday about all of the um, black berries we have on our place. Y'all look down in there, nothing but black berries everywhere, just black berries. I told mama about it and she said she was going to come down and pick her some. Black berries everywhere. Yeah, it's right here. Yep, it's yep. Black berries, huh? I over there. Yeah, black bears are over there. Look at those ducks. They're following me thinking I'm about to feed them. Hey, I want to end this video just by saying speak, 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 speak. Learn to speak over that situation. Speak over that problem, child. Speak over that pot, that job. Speak over that problem, church. Speak over that sickness. You've got power in your tongue. And if you don't use it, it's nobody's fault but your own. So watch this. Tree, fruit salad tree. You shall live and not die. Tree, you shall live and not die. Hey, y'all have a blessed day. Peace know that out. me and Charles love you. What'd you say, Charles? Peace out. Peace out. Tell them to like, comment, like. and subscribe to our channel. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye. Taylor's Pride Homestead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's feed some fish. Let's feed some fish. Charles, you ready to feed some fish? All right, Teacher Nation, let's see. Let's see what happens. There we go, catfish, look at him, y'all. Whoa, what was that? Big catfish. Get out the way, Bren. Get your tail out the way, Bren. Get out. Nobody wants to see you in the video, Bren. You're not the star of the video. Check him out, y'all. See that? Leave it alone. You get it stuck in your finger. I'm not pulling it out again, Bren. Look at him, y'all. Here comes Greedette. Here comes Greedette. There's Greedy. Look, 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 check him out. Get out the way, Bryn. They're eating the fish. All right. Check him out. Look at the fish. There's Greedette. All right, all right. Get away from the food. Get away from the food. Hey, they're eating, TP Nation. This is what it looks like when we're feeding our fish. Y'all saw that big catfish just now? Check them out, check them out, check them out. You see it? It's, it's, it's too fast. It's too really yep. fast. Look at those big fish. It's too really fast. Y'all see them? We got grass copy here. We've got bass. I just saw a big bass over there on the bank. Bedding, I guess. Blue gills. We got red breasts in here. We got shell crackers. And look at that big old catfish. Where? Where, Daddy? Where? It's right there. Let's see if the big catfish comes up again. Those are grass carp right there. I see bad over there. Man, if you're not gonna fall out my hand in this water, we're gonna fight. There's a big catfish right there coming up. Uh, he's really 
Daddy. There's Greedy, yep. There's Greedy. That's Greedy right there. No, there's Greedy over there. That's Greedy at, yep. That's Mommy Daddy. Look at that big cactus. Y'all see him? That's Mommy Daddy. Y'all saw him. That's Mommy and Daddy. That's Mommy and Daddy? Yeah. Oh, okay. I oh, have big catfish. Well, here he comes. He's about to come up. Y'all see that big catfish? Whoa, that's a big catfish. Whoa, that's a big catfish. Whoa, that's a big catfish. You like the big catfish, Charles? Uh, I, I, I like one. Hey, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Hey, it helps the algorithms grow with our station. Hey, we thank y'all so much for watching and tuning into our videos. Hey, y'all, peace out. Have a great weekend. Peace. Peace out.